We're going to begin tonight in Sumter County, where some residents say they have discolored water coming from their faucets. Especially first thing in the morning, they say it can be yellow, brown, or reddish, but usually it goes away after a few hours. All right, Sam Perez is on your side tonight to get answers about what's going on there. Everything was great until the red water started. Resident Doug Jones moved to Sumter 35 years ago, living in three different locations throughout the city over the past three decades. At each new place he moved to, Jones tells me the red water followed. He even worked with a neighbor to create a Facebook page where residents used to document the discoloration. While the pictures are from a few years ago, Jones tells me the water periodically looks the same. I reached out to the city of Sumter, which says this discoloration comes from iron in the water that's dissolved in groundwater aquifers. The city says it isn't hazardous, but it can stain clothes in the wash. Some residents like Jones, however, are concerned about the elevated iron levels. I have to control my iron level, and I certainly can't control it with the quality of water that the city is used to providing me and charging me for. Jones has hemochromatosis, meaning his body stores too much iron as it is. Elevated iron levels in the water are problematic for Jones and others like him, he says. How could a city of our size not be able to overcome iron in the water. The city says it has installed automatic blow-off valves in areas where this red water is a common occurrence, and it flushes fire hydrants to reduce the chance of iron depositing in the water lines. The city does conduct a water quality report each year and says while the water can pick up substances like inorganic or organic chemicals, the drinking water is safe and meets all federal requirements. Residents like Jones, however, want to find a way to remove the high levels of iron. Probably need to look outside Sumter, South Carolina to get a fix. All we're asking for is clean drinking water. It really doesn't seem to be that difficult for other municipalities to provide that. For Street Squad Sumter, Sam Perez, News 19, WLTX. And the city telling us tonight that if residents experience discolored water, they should report their physical address to the Public Services Department. New